Hey, coaches. Welcome back to Football Talk with Coach Chip. I'm going to make a real quick video today. Got one play I want to talk to you about. I was watching the Georgia High School Finals last week. A Benedictine Christian out of Savannah was playing the Carver Tigers out of Columbus. And it was a, it was a good football game. But Benedictine on their first touchdown scored on this great, they're, they're a gun team. The quarterback's just committed. They're just signed in the early signing period with Auburn. And um, they got in like a wing T looking formation, but in gun. And they ran the power sweep, a little bit different power than the power we've been talking about, A-gap power. It's like the old school, just knock everything down on the inside. Let's take a look at it. But before we do, don't forget our friends at Right Equipment. That's right-equipment.com for all your strength and weightlifting and conditioning needs, right-equipment. Let's look. All right, Benedictine in the gray on offense, got the ball on the four, and they line up with the strength to the field. Notice you got a slot here, wide receiver out here, tight end wing here. They're fixing to walk the tight end, and they're going to wall everything down. I want you to watch the tight ends block as we get ready to watch them. Here they go. They go in their shift. And notice the defense doesn't shift. They do very little bumping or anything. This guy's trying to tell them, hey, you know, get over here. But look here, one, two, three, four, five. And this guy here is dead over the center. So they got five and a half over here, five and a half over here. But here's the problem. There ain't but three offensive guys over here, okay? Not counting the center, you got one, two, three, four, five, six. They got them outnumbered before the snap ever goes. Something they must have seen on film study. And they got him down here, and they got him out of position. They didn't bump the three out, so now this guy in the A-gap is just bait to get walled down. I want you to watch the tight end. Instead of taking just taking off and down blocking, like gap down backer, this kid here has been well coached. He's going to take a little, almost like a zone step a little baby power step, short step, to allow this defender to get in here to take himself out, okay? So, because he knows if the kid shoots outside, the wing's going to get him. But if he goes flying in here, this kid may slice right in here. This is great job by the tight end. And look at the rest of them just wall everything down. They're going to wrap the backside guard. The back is going to come right here. I reckon he is supposed to get this cat. Okay, but this cat doesn't show up. Okay. All right, watch this. They just, great job. They just allowed those kids, watch. They allow him to get in there. They allow him. Boom. Isn't that, it's just good old school football. Wing T football out of gun. Right there, good job. Untouched, touchdown. Okay. Here you see from the from the rear. Good job. It's an athletic looking guard, isn't it? All right, let's look at the diagram up. On the diagram, you can see what we just looked. And I was very specific. I didn't put anything of mine in there. I went back and watched it player for player. And I wanted to make sure I showed you exactly how they blocked it. They were in press man right here, and all he did was run to the back of the end zone in the corner, flipped his hips, and ran with him, so he's done. All right, when they made their shift from here to here, no adjustment. I think this safety bumped over a little bit. But look, Mike is like dead over the center, tackles in a three, DN's in a five, backers out here and, and nothing. There's nothing out there, okay? And, uh, and the corner's over here. So what it amounts to over here on this side after the shift, you got double contain. He's outside and he's outside. Okay. And the ball's not even coming there. <coughs> Excuse me. And again, this is from film study. All right. They snap the ball. Quarterback hands it off. There's no motion. He's so quick. It's just real short edge. He's so quick and gets there. Quarterback kind of bumps into the end coming off the edge here. Tackle does a great job getting just enough of the three. Backside guard wraps, gets right here. All right, center reach steps and then kind of turns back. So almost the nose was triple teamed. The tight end allows that end to get right here. The end was really kind of head up him, wasn't he? 
little in, maybe seven, and shot right in here, and he got him. And the wing allowed that backer to come right here. And so that means now the safety has got to come in and set the edge, and he didn't show up, okay? Pretty good football play. Well, that's it for this episode of Football Talk with Coach Chip. I told you it'd be a quick one. Did a little five minutes. If you want a copy of my playbook, go ahead and send me a message at siegel.chip at gmail.com. Okay, it's just $20. It's over 60 slides of just my system. It's not everything, of course. You can't have everything. Uh, it'd be take too long a book. And at 37 years of coaching, what a glimpse at what I do of some of what I do. And I've already sold... Uh, do the math, da, 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 about 20 copies, all right, in 24 hours, 36 hours. Uh, get you a copy. I'll send it to you through email. Also, if you want a copy of my football philosophy PowerPoint, free of charge, hit me up right there. It's from the playbook. So it's kind of a sneak peek, a peek at what's inside the playbook. And you can do that at siegel.chip at gmail.com. Just shoot me an email. Or you can go on Football Talk with Coach Chip. Leave me a message there. I'll be more than happy to get it to you. Okay, it's only $20 for the playbook and $0 for the PowerPoint about my coaching philosophy. And it's nothing you want to just maybe look at it, get some ideas, and see what other people are doing because y'all know I stole most of those ideas, just like all good coaches do. All of us steal. License to steal if you're a coach. All right, y'all have a great rest of your day getting close to holiday season. If I don't talk to you again, Merry Christmas and all that good stuff. And until next time, y'all be elite and share the page and subscribe.